Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I make this gingerbread village, but first let me show you my shopping haul. First off, I got these Christmas trees. I picked up three, they had three designs. And I found these cute little um, gingerbread crafts, like the felt ornament kits. I got these clay ornaments. these little utensils here. I'm gonna use these for a craft. That's coming up hopefully in the next week or two. I got this thinking I could use that for a craft as well. A couple of these, I'm thinking of incorporating it to the tree, I'm not sure. Have to make sure my cat's not gonna chew on these. Some wood shaped gingerbread men. Hopefully for the tree, we'll see if that works out. I also got two of these guys, that's all I could find. One of these, just a wood round. I've got a project coming up for that. And I also picked up these ornaments, along with this guy. Some wood dowels. two chalk pens because I couldn't find my white one so I decided I might as well grab another one. A pack of these bows. This brown and white twine. I thought I picked up some red and white but I can't find it. A few ornaments. Some fake glittered snow. And this shower travel kit. It has two bottles, a small jar, and a loofah, and also this bag that it comes in. Oh yeah, and look, I found a scrunchy hair clip, brand name. It even has a little spikies in there, so hopefully it'll, it'll work. Oh, and I was lucky enough to find one of these, and I have a project coming up for this as well. Some of these socks, this is actually for a project that I saw on another YouTube channel. I also went to Walmart and I picked up these ornaments here. The smaller ones were 98 cents and these two larger ones were 398. I did pick up this whisk for 97 cents and also this 10 pack of bows for 298. I picked these up at Target Playground, two for three dollars. I also grabbed this ornament for a dollar at Target. And I picked up five of these. They were also a dollar in the Target playground area. And look, it even has a recipe for gingerbread cookies on the tag. Isn't that cute? It looks just like a little gingerbread cookie on a cookie tray. Look at that, we're jumping right in. So I just grabbed some cardboard boxes from my recycle bin and I got to work. I just drew out my design the best I could. As you'll see later on, it's definitely not perfect, but I think that's fine. Also, you'll notice I have some gloves on here and that's because I'm pretty clumsy and I just felt it was probably smarter for me to use the gloves while using this blade. I will say this did take quite some time to cut this out. Here I'm folding it because I thought I could get it to stand better by doing that, but it didn't work. And now I'm creating the windows and doors. And here we are, here I am trying to cut them out again. You'll see, like I mentioned earlier, it's not perfect, but it definitely does look great. And here you'll see I'm using the Dollar Tree chalk pen and I'm just gonna go in and kind of decorate it the best I can. I'm definitely not super artistic. I did the best that I can, but I still, like I keep saying, I still think it looked really cute. I just wanna let you guys know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid of it looking ugly or not perfect. It's still, it's still gonna be great. Just have fun and enjoy yourself when crafting. As you can see, I did a larger version. 
Once I had mastered that, I thought I would make some trees. As you can see here, I just cut halfway down the top and halfway down the bottom on, on one of each of the trees, and then I just slid it in. Here I am decorating again. Look at that. Oh, Gidget came in for a visit. Ta-da! Tree. And voila. There we go. Try not to uh, notice the plaster on the wall peeling. We're going to pretend that doesn't exist. And enjoy my beautiful gingerbread house. No, it's not perfect, but it sure does look cute, right? I felt like it needed something. Whoa. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave that in there just so you guys can see <laughs> the just how how far I'll go to get a good shot and technically it's not really good I, I feel like everything I do is slightly slanted or crooked well here we go here's another shot of it the beautiful trees the trees I had purchased from Target last year and Dollar Tree uh, do you see what I mean by crooked sorry guys I did my best I do not have a uh, a stabilizer so what I did here was I put some boxes and just you know random items I, f I could find throughout the house and I covered them with a sheet and pillowcases or technically pillowcases and I uh, tried to make it look like snow like I was saying earlier or trying to say I was I just felt like it needed something more so I decided I was gonna go ahead and create another project with the wooden round I found from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did that here I did use my Cricut here are some of the items I used the wood round from Dollar Tree the wood dowels and a random piece of wood I had in my garage and yes it was already stained because it was a it was for a project that I didn't do here we go I drilled a hole in the middle of that sucker put the dowel inside and now I'm on to the the wood round I use my Dollar Tree putty to help fill in the holes here I am painting it I'm trying to make it look like a moon and I'm gonna do like what I did for Halloween but instead of a witch flying over the moon I'm gonna do a Santa flying over the moon and I wanted it to look more fluffy and happy-go-lucky so that's why I use the white paint and Quite honestly, that is the look I was going for. I was so happy. I wanted it to kind of look like a few, a few fluffy clouds. And here I thought I was going to use this card, but it didn't work out. And this Dollar Tree Cricut paper was, or vinyl, it did not work for me. I had to end up using another vinyl that I had in stock. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it was. My Cricut just wouldn't cut it. Oh, and look there, see? The first time it went in, it went in crooked, but that wasn't the problem. Oh, and here we are. I'm trying to show you what a mess my little crafting cabinet is. Do you see all that stuff I have hoarded in there? Here's my little Santa on his sleigh. I used that from, let's see, I, I downloaded that from Cricut Design Space. Here I am placing my little guy on there. Okay, here we go. So I'm just hot gluing this to the thing. And yes, I'm in my jammies. Let's try to ignore that. And ta-da! There we are. It's a little top heavy, but that's because I needed it to stand pretty tall because I'm going to place it on top of my on top of my my little tea hutch, my little hutch that I have in the cut in the kitchen, and it's going to go off in the corner. Here we go. And I wanted and I wanted it to uh, be seen kind of like, you know, like it's up in the sky. And from this angle, this is my favorite angle. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? The way it kind of peeks through the trees. Here it is at night. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope that this video helped somebody or at least gave you guys an idea. I just wanted to show you that you could do something without having to spend a lot of money and also let you guys know your crafts don't have to be perfect. Just jump in and go for it. 
Thank you everyone for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.